food can, in time, transition from being an inanimate object that we eat for the sake of you know, nutrition to being something that we start to use more and more as comfort when we have a feeling. So if we have an uncomfortable feeling, then we know that, oh, you know what made me feel better before when I got home from work and I was stressed was to sit on the couch and eat ice cream. So I will do that and I'll feel better. And of course we get the dopamine hit and we start to feel a little bit better. And ultimately though, over time, food can become very destructive. In my own life, I like to compare food to like a um, abusive boyfriend where it was very good in the beginning and, you know, we might meet in secret, you know, I'd have um, food at night after everybody else went to bed and, and you know, it, food made me feel better and it was there for me when I had rough times. But at the end of the day, it started to be abusive to my body and food was hurting my body. And so I had to figure out how to stop going to food for emotional support and if I did that, what was going to fill the place? Well, of course it has to be Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. But the question then was, does Jesus really care about my little food problem? Does Jesus really care if I have an extra brownie after dinner or chicken nuggets off my kids' plates? And I found that the answer was right away when I started to include him in my food journey that he absolutely does care because he wants to be the one that we go to with our emotional needs. And so when we do that first, um, he can begin his healing work. Julia Fixie joining us today here on the Meeting House on Faith Radio. It is the Summer 2024 Christian Product Expo in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I think about just the way that people, and I, I, I'll say they use food or their relationship with food to address needs that are intended to be met ultimately by the Lord. Now that can, of course, apply to eating too much. But I would imagine it also applies to eating too little. So when you get into these areas of anorexia and bulimia, does that is that also kind of in this overall topic area? Yeah, so the eating disorders are very often um, tied up with our emotional state. So it can be a situation where we feel out of control for one reason or another, or we're feeling something. And so we use our relationship with food, maybe our body uh, image or what we feel like we need to be. And so we strive for uh, to meet our these kinds of emotions with food, eating food, not eating food. And people will often um, binge eat and then punish themselves by not eating after. And so it becomes this really difficult cycle to manage and control once a person gets into it. So how does one move from this position of having an unhealthy relationship with food and depending on food to meet their emotional needs or their perceived emotional needs? How do they transfer that or, or if perhaps it's better put, how do you cast down this stronghold of food and raise up the stronghold of being rooted in Christ? So in other words, how do you get your emphasis off the food and get it on the Lord to deal with these emotional issues? Well, the first thing that we do is we go right to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when we have a feeling that is uncomfortable or that's hurtful. So for example, for me, uh, I noticed over time that feelings that were particularly destructive for me when it came to food were disappointment and loneliness. So I think one of the first things we can do is go to Jesus and talk to him about the exact emotion that we're feeling and talk to him about why we're feeling it and what happened and talk to him about it because he wants to be the one to help us solve our problems and he has the power to heal our lives. and change things and help us get through these really hard situations that food doesn't have that power so when we first go to him and then we discover what the exact emotion is that we're feeling and we address that emotion and the situation that causes it with our lord and savior jesus christ now we're starting to see real results real solutions and real help 